Hi, hello and welcome back to F1 Challenge VB. My name is Mephisto and our journey through the history of Formula 1 continues today with the 7th round of the 1957 season, the Pescara Grand Prix. It was held on the 18th of August, it had 16 entries, all of them taking part in the race but 9 of them were unable to make it to the finish line. The race consisted of 18 laps completed in 2 hours, 59 minutes and 23 seconds. Fangio started the race from pole with Moss in 2nd, Musso 3rd, Berra 4th and Harry Shell started from 5th. Sterling Moss drove brilliantly to take the win from Fangio who finished in 2nd, 3 minutes 13.9 seconds later. Shell ended up in 3rd, he was 6 minutes 36.8 seconds down. Maston Gregory came home in 4th, 8 minutes 16.5 seconds after Moss crossed the finish line and Lewis Evans rounded off the top 5, he was one lap behind. Moss also posted the fastest lap of the race, a 9 minute 44.6 second lap. So here we are in Pescara for the Pescara Grand Prix and normally in this section of the video I would walk you through the circuit. But I'm not going to do that this time, firstly because I only drove on this circuit once before and I didn't even finish one lap so I'm not really qualified to talk about the track. And secondly because I feel I have to complain about this track. And you've probably already noticed my problem with this circuit. Yes, it's the textures. Specifically the road texture and the lack of detail in the texture. It's so bad that it might as well be painted a solid color. It would be just about as helpful. Now, because there's almost no detail in the road texture, it is very hard to make out whether or not there's a corner coming up. And that's kind of a problem when you're trying to go as fast as possible. And I know that some of you were looking forward to this race, but I'll tell you right now that you will be thoroughly disappointed. With that little rant out of the way, let's move on to today's video. And here we are in qualifying, coming around through the final few corners of the race to... What? H how is that a... How was that a track cut? Uh, seriously, that was a track cut. Screw this. Alright, so here we are for the uh, Pescara Grand Prix. No previous Grand Prix winners, obviously. There has never been a race before this. Well, not in, as a championship race anyway. And we have Fan John Paul with Musa second. Third is Tony Brooks. Sterling Moss is 4th, Mike Hawthorne 5th, Lewis Evans 6th, Bob Gerard 7th, 9th is Roy Salvadori, 8th is, sorry, 8th is Roy Salvadori, 9th Harry Shell, 10th, Maston Gregory, Peter Collins is in 11th, followed by Carlos Menditegui in 12th, Wolfgang von Treps is 13th, 14th is Jean Berra, Jean Berra, uh, 15th, Trintinha, 16th, Alfonso de Portago, obviously he is, isn't really in the race. Gonzalez is 17th, 18th, Jack Brabham, 19th, Bonnier, and at the very back we have Andy Higgs who hasn't actually qualified because for some reason the game decided that I cut the track. Whatever. Anyway, uh, let's get on with this race and that's a very slow start on my end I'm not quite sure what I was trying there to well I was trying to fight um wheel spin and that cost me quite dearly because there's al already a two second gap to the car in front which is isn't very very ideal at the start of a race and I can't really see anyone and oh so we move up into 18 somehow there was someone Someone who crashed somewhere, I'm not sure because I couldn't see anything. As we now come into turn 1 here. Again, it's absolutely difficult to tell when you're entering a corner. Well, it's a bit easier now because you, there are cars in front and you, and you can see what they're doing. But when you're on your own trying to uh, uh, drive as fast as possible, it's quite difficult. And here is a replay of the start, a bit of a puff of smoke coming off my rear wheels but that's okay even though it slowed me down but oh well you can't have good starts all the time can you and it's not like I had too many 
up until now now that I think about it but yeah and there we see everyone kind of scrambling for position not really successful as we everyone's coming through turn one we see a few cars kind of sliding going sideways through the corner and we now move further along um, lap one here uh, we are in 17th at the moment chasing after one man well one man Fungo actually overtakes us but then uh, someone loses control of their a few car few people lose control of their cars and we move up into 14th as we come through these chicanes and later still on lap two I'm coming into this right hander then someone comes from behind hits me sending me flying into the wood I lose my front right and that is the end of the Pescara Grand Prix for Andy Higgs unfortunately uh, what a disappointment for Andy really only for Andy not for me though and here is a replay of um, Carlos Menditegui coming through turn one loses control of his Maserati and drives off into the bay I believe yep and well he gets stuck obviously there and he is out of the race next we have a replay of Luigi Musso who loses control of his Ferrari through this uh, chicane hits the walls loses his front left and he's out of the race Hawthorne did pretty much the same a few seconds later and here is a replay of myself that's a Ferrari who hit me from behind I lost control of the car went into the woods and I really have no idea why the Ferrari tried to uh, turn in so early but anyway and this is a replay of Juan Manuel Fangio who comes through this left hander loses control of the mo of his Maserati flips it upside down and he is out of the Grand Prix as well so those are the first retirements of the race we are among them unfortunately unfortunately again unfortunately for Andy good for me because I really didn't want to race and do this race anyway here is a replay of Mastin Gregory on lap 2 who comes around crashes into that was actually Alfonso de Portago's car and well Alfonso de Portago isn't really in the race but Gregory is out of the Grand Prix this is fun trips on lap 3 coming through this corner losing control of his car and he is out next we have Joe Bonnier who loses control of his car on the straight somehow I have no idea how anyone can manage to do, do that but oh well he did and he is out of the Grand Prix and finally here we have the man of the hour coming around to coming around the final corner and crosses the line to take the win of the race Roy Salvadori uh, moving back well getting back in the lead although it's shared between him and Higgs obviously Bob Gerard is second Evans third fourth is Brooks and Moss is second Lewis Evans also managed to pose the fastest lap of the race which is good for him I guess and here are the retirements so yeah that was quite a disappointing race for in a lot of ways and again I blame it mostly on on how the circuit is how, how it's modeled in in the game because it's absolutely horrible uh, so yeah I'm willing to give it another shot if if at one, some point it will be remodeled but until then all I have all I can say about this circuit that it's absolutely horrible I'm pretty sure the the real one was better but <laughs> that's the real one I cannot race on the real one like now can I but yeah that is it for the Pescara Grand Prix so yeah anyway here are the career statistics and this was Andy's 64th Grand Prix his best start is from first has three pole positions has set 12 fastest laps his best finishes in first has completed 45 races 39 of them in the points has won 24 races 4 at the Indianapolis 500 3 at Monaco has 5 championships under his belt has scored a total of 263 points has retired 19 times has experienced 1493 out of 
1807 laps, has 5 bronze trophies, 5 silver trophies, 24 gold trophies and as an extension 24 podiums. And here is a quick look at the standings. Roy Salvadori and Higgs are once again tied in the lead, Lewis Evans in 3rd, Sterling Moss 4th and Jack Brabham 5th. Harry Shell is the last person to have scored points and he is in 10th. And at the very bottom we have Alfonso de Portago. So that was a disappointing race for Andy, obviously. This is, I think this is the third time I said that. But that allowed Roy Salvatore to close, close in the gap, which means it's all going to come down at the Italian Grand Prix, the final round of the season, which is going to be quite interesting because whoever... Um, finishes the race higher, will technically win the championship. Well, there are a few ifs there, but technically it that's what will happen. So, looking forward to the Italian Grand Prix. Uh, slightly different th this year from the past two seasons, so that's quite exciting because we will not be racing on the oval part of it this time, so that should be fun, especially since it's a little bit more closer to uh, the circuit we know and love today but yeah that is it for the Pescara Grand Prix absolutely horrible race that is it for this video don't forget to vote for next season's team link is in the description I also have a second channel where I will be playing all sorts of different games at the moment I'm doing a playthrough of the original Need for Speed Underground so if you're interested there is a link in the description to that as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you all so much for watching and as always, stay Heisha Harp, what was that?